There is something I wish to discuss, Inquisitor. My Lady Inquisitor, it's good of you to speak with me. I have news regarding one of your companions, the Tevinto. Is that a note of distaste I detect, Mother Giselle? I admit his presence here makes me uncomfortable, Inquisitor, but my feelings are of no importance. I have been in contact with his family, House Pavas, out of Carinas. Are you familiar with them? Why exactly would you be contacting Dorian's family? I didn't contact them, Inquisitor. They contacted me. The family sent a letter describing the estrangement from their son and pleading for my aid. They've asked to arrange a meeting quietly without telling him. They fear it's the only way he'll come. Since you seem to be on good terms with the young man, I'd hoped... Are you sure this isn't some kind of trap? I mean, the secrecy. That did occur to me. What if it is a plot of those mages, the Venatroi? Another reason to put this in your hands, Inquisitor. I pray that isn't the case. But if it is, you are far better equipped than I to respond to such treachery. Just what kind of meeting do they have in mind? I believe they just want to talk, to understand why Dorian felt he had to come here. Somewhere private, away from Skyhold, but not in Tevinter. You make them nervous, I think. They don't understand why he's here with the Inquisition. They want him to come home. What happens if Dorian doesn't agree? Hopefully that will be the end of it. If not... Well... That's why you should be there. Why would his family contact you? Because they don't know you, Inquisitor. I am not of the Imperial Chantry, but they know what I represent. These are parents concerned about the welfare of their son. How could I not do whatever possible? I would speak to the young man myself, but he does not care for me. Thus I come to you. If any good can come of this, we must try. They don't want Dorian to know? That seems odd. They believe the young man would refuse, and the letter implies he'd have cause. Yet, they are remorseful for whatever came before. This is a chance for dialogue. There is deceit in bringing the young man to this meeting without his foreknowledge, I know. But does it not lead to a greater kindness if there is potential for reconciliation? If you think I'm going to trick Dorian into meeting his family... Oh, I feared you might say that. The family will send a retainer to meet the young man at the Red Cliff Tavern, to take him onward. If he truly does not wish this reunion, he can always end the matter there. I pray you change your mind, Inquisitor. Perhaps their letter will persuade you. If there is any chance of success in this, it behooves us to act. meeting you here. Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. I know my son? 
What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinter. You think your father would actually do that? No, although I wouldn't put it past him. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with a message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married? Because you left? That too. Let's go meet this retainer then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Perhaps we should search about a bit. Uh-oh. Nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just... what? A smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? <sighs> this is how it has always been. Considering you lied to get him here, Dorian has every right to be furious. You don't know the half of it. But maybe you should. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. That's a big concern in Tevinter, then? Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind. The perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden.
So that's what all of this is about? Who you sleep with? That's not all it's about. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. I think it's time we left. I agree. He's a good man, my father. Deep down. He taught me principle is important. He cares for me in his way, but he won't ever change. I can't forgive him for what he did. I won't. He tried to change you? Out of desperation. I wouldn't put on a show, marry the girl, keep everything unsavory, private and locked away. Selfish, I suppose. Not to want to spend my entire life screaming on the inside. He was going to do a blood ritual. Alter my mind. Make me... acceptable. I found out. I left. Can blood magic actually do that? Maybe. It could also have left me a drooling vegetable. It crushed me to think he found that absurd risk preferable to scandal. Part of me has always hoped he didn't really want to go through with it. If he had, I can't even imagine the person I would be now. He wouldn't like that, Dorian. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there, even if it didn't work out. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you led me on, actually. Ah, the flirting. You're a remarkable woman, Inquisitor. I mean that in the best way. In another life, I meant no offense. I'll desist if you prefer. Desist? Don't you dare. <laughs> I stand so instructed. At any rate, Time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. I don't know what you think you're doing. I'm being clapped at by a hen, evidently. Don't play the fool with me, young man. If I wanted to play the fool, I could be rather more convincing, I assure you. Your glib tongue does you no credit. You'd be surprised at the credit my tongue gets me. Oh, I... What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from Tevinto, specifically? I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. Concerns of the Chantry are no concern of the Inquisition, Mother Giselle. I'm aware of that. You risk, however, not only the Chantry's opinion. And if I asked from where these rumors originated? I... see. 
I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Well, that's something. This sort of thing happens often, does it? <laughs> More than anyone tells you. No one knows their own reputation. Until someone helpfully informs them. There is that. She meant well, if that's of any concern. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? Why should it bother me? Everyone's talking about the Inquisition. That's good. I'd hate to think I brought you any grief. Perhaps it's odd to say, but... I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I... <sighs> Don't speak. I detest confessions. And I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you. Against Corypheus, my countryman, or spurious rumor. So long as you'll have me. <laughs> 